Happy Vlogmas Day 9. Is it day nine? I don't know, sorry for all my singing all the time. Let's start out by saying welcome, and let's start out by saying happy first day of Hanukkah. I know when you guys are watching this, it's technically the second day, um, but today is first day of Hanukkah. My dad is Jewish, my mom is Catholic. Now I'm just, you, you know, I'm getting into my history here. We'll be celebrating Hanukkah tonight over FaceTime with my family. Today is gonna be a little bit of a different vlog, so we're still gonna get the Vlogmas classics like the Starbucks drink of the day, but there is a little treat in today's vlog. Today's vlog oh, has a mini little fashion review in it. So you're not gonna see too much of my day today. You're just going, I think I just drove over some glass. Today is mainly a fashion review, which is very exciting. But before we do the fashion review, we obviously have to go try the holiday themed drink of the day. My outfit sucks so bad. I just, I'm wearing what I wore to teach in um, because I have to get some shit done today and I didn't really have time, but I will be showering today. I shower, I shower every day. I don't, I didn't think I had to clarify that, but maybe I do. I do take showers, I just don't vlog them. That's my OnlyFans has those. I'm just kidding, I don't have an OnlyFans, that would be wild. Kinda wish I did now, honestly. Okay, so I just got back from Starbucks. I just got the Grande Iced Peppermint White Mocha. So, wish me luck. K3LSEY. <laughs> it's my favorite way so far. Is it Kelsey with a three? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Pretty good. The white mocha is better, way better than the regular mocha. Yeah. Yeah, that tastes like a candy cane. That's crazy. Yeah, that's really good. I like that one. Wow. Like it's very. It tastes like a milkshake. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Just a little bit of a stanky leg. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's that? <laughs> So stinky. <laughs> okay, so it is a very exciting day here at um, Vlogmas headquarters because we have our very first sponsor. And it makes perfect sense that it is Bright Cellars, a monthly wine subscription. I love wine, love drinking wine. I never know which wines I'm going to like, and so I just kind of just choose one. And this is great because I got to take a quiz and answer questions based on what I like, what I prefer. Just a seven question quiz, answering easy questions like not about wines really, and then that helped find wines that I would like, and here they are. So they have these wine education cards and they basically describe each of the wines that they gave you. Look how cute they are, first off. But look, so it tells you where it's from, what kind of wine it is, what's in it, what to pair it with. All stuff I would have no idea about until they sent me these cards. And now I can show off and I can like brag about like knowing about wine to people. So, pretty sweet. So these are all my wines. Um, they all have the, the cutest labels and they look so good. I'm pretty picky when it comes to reds. So this is a red that I'm excited to try because it's like a kind that I've never heard of. Like, you know, it's not one of the classics, like Pinot Noir, that's a red wine. This is a Val de Gay. And if I would have seen this in the store, I would have ever chosen it because I don't know what that is. But now I know that it's a full bodied and bold wine. So Bright Sellers is giving my followers 50% off their first six bottle box, like this one. All you have to do is click the link in the description and take the quiz and get started. Thank you Bright Sellers for um, sponsoring today's video. Look where we are. In Back. the middle of a vlog? What? Where do we think we are? What the heck is going on? Now this is just a little treat I wanted to give you guys in the middle of this vlog because Vlogmas has been so much fun and I thought it would be fun for Cody and I to do a mini little teensy weensy little fashion review. Yeah. Nothing crazy, just a mini little teensy weensy fashion review. A fashion reviewlet. Yes. I figured it would be fun if we looked at some 
holiday themed throwbacks. Okay. So holiday themed throwbacks, as I just said. Uh-huh. I basically they're like pictures from like their nineties, early two thousands, early two thousands ish that are holiday <laughs> themed. This is funny. This is from twenty sixteen. It's twenty two holiday themed throwback photos of celebrities that'll make you feel merry and bright. <laughs> yes. It's just funny to think in twenty sixteen how different of a time this was. I know. Where it's like, you know, just a blog post. Yeah. Could make you feel merry and bright, you know? Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> All right. Britney Spears is looking good in Britney, this. Here's Britney Spears. She needed to, oh my God, I used to have, oh, this is bringing back memories. I used to have that fucking, the blue one. What is that? Perfume. Oh, okay. Um, I believe that one was Curious, and it's, Fantasy is the pink bottle. Oh, it's her scent. Yeah, she made a couple. I see. Um, they sm- It smelled so good, and you p- sprayed it on with that little puffer thing. Ugh, I loved it. And I remember my dad used to be like, don't spray too much. A little on the wrists. Rub it on your neck. Yeah. You never want to walk in the room and people say, whoa. What's all that cologne? Yeah. Okay, here is Beyonce. Beautiful. Beyonce I mean, rocked an all-white outfit when she performed with Destiny's Child at the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting ceremony in November 2001. This looks like like this looks like someone would wear that now. Yeah. She's kind of it's timeless. It's angelic and it's and it's also cozy. Yeah. It looks and like she's it's warm. Yep. But still hot. Yeah. You know. Beyonce can do no wrong. Our queen. I'm nutting. <laughs> I'm nutting. Remember that tweet Cody made? That was the funniest tweet he's ever made. <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> Justin Bieber, the baby singer, posed with choir members at TNT's Christmas in Washington event at the National Building Museum in December 2009. Oh my god, look at Justin Bieber. This was him in 2016? No, in 2009. Oh, sh- it says it right there. You just read it. I know. And somehow, I, I almost believe that. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. That's him four years no, ago. No, 2016, he was at a. That's oh, so look at funny. him in 2009, the sweater and yeah. the tie. Yeah. He looks cute. Yeah, and then he went off the rails a little bit, and now he's now he's back, back at it in again. church. Yeah. Oh my God, Miley <laughs> Cyrus and Pete Wentz. <laughs> Miley and Pete rocked matching plaid outfits in November 2008 when they filmed MTV's F and MTV Christmas special in Hollywood. Just think, she didn't even know she was about to drop the smash of the decade. Yeah, which was. Party in, in the, the USA. USA. Obviously. Obviously. I thought you might have said Wrecking Ball. She dropped a lot of smash hits. Yeah. It's not her best look. The plaid. I don't know if I'm fucking with the plaid. I don't the like <laughs> I don't know that she would be too happy about this. Yeah, this is before she picked up the doobie, you know? Okay. She, <laughs> she she's sober. No. Oh, she's sober now? Yeah. But didn't she used to love weed? That's like when yeah, she started yeah, getting yeah. all edgy. Yeah. Okay. Pete Wentz, though, I feel like that's what he would look like if I saw him yesterday. He looks the same, yeah. He looks exactly the same. Like, and he'd be wearing that jacket. Like, that jacket is, he didn't, he wasn't going for a Christmas theme. He just showed up in that, and they were, like, perfect. Yeah. Michael Buble. It looks exactly like someone would look today. Yeah, that's, put a fucking plaid jacket on. Yeah, and put a mask on, too. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) That makes me sad. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm saying. It's fun. It's kind of ironic to... Read this article from 2016 about being merry and bright. I when know. all we're thinking when we're looking at these is, God damn. I wish we could be doing wish that. Wish we could just be in public, you know? I know. All right. Oh, there she is. The, the queen, queen of, of Christmas. Christmas. Wow, we M- both were going to say that. Mrs. Claus herself. Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. All she wants <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> She she looks festive. She looks warm. She looks Hold on. Festive. Wait just a second. The lines on the mitts almost look like they're small hands, and she kind of looks like a T-Rex. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Like I she's can like see this. That. Or like skeleton bones. <laughs> Damn. 
Hova. Oh my god. Jay Z. The rapper <laughs> wore a Santa hat in December 2005 when he helped hand out gifts to children in his old Brooklyn neighborhood. This is dope. This is a he dope looks ass so, picture. Yeah, it's it really great. is. And he's doing a good thing too. He's handing out gifts yeah, to children. Like literally he's Santa. He's like cool Santa. Yeah. Look at him. Oh my god. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Hillary! <laughs> Hillary Duff channeled the best of early 2000s fashion when she was on hand to help light the Rockefeller Center oh Christmas god. tree in November 2004. Oh my, my god. fucking scarf. She looks insane. I love it. This is it's so funny. The boots, the scarf, yeah. the necklaces. It's very country mom now, isn't it? I don't even know what it is. It's like country mom who owns her own like fashion boutique yeah. in like middle America. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. Katy Perry <laughs> dressed up as a Christmas tree. Uh, she was performing at Jingle Ball in 2008. That is, when I said I wanted something spirited, I mean, she really went for it. <laughs> Like, I'm trying to figure out the logistics of this. Like, is that, is she wearing, like, a dress underneath and she put the tree over the dress? Is the tree a dress? Are there things in those presents? I think this is, this is honestly, this looks like something you'd paste on the wall of your preschool class. Yeah. And she just bought it at Walmart and was like, fuck yeah. it, this will work. And just, Yeah. And then if she played it better, she could have been the star on top of the tree. But oh, she fucked it because there's a God, star on the tree. so right, Cody. <laughs> Taylor Swift um, at the Rockefeller Center in 2007. Before she went pop. True. The sparkly guitar. She doesn't really look too wintry, but she looks amazing, as always. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Another Jessica Simpson throwback okay. from, from 2000. Who is... Let me ask you this. Who is the modern-day equivalent of this? Ooh, that's a good question. Do you have someone in mind? No, I don't. But I'm, I want you to have someone in mind. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the modern day equivalent of this would be maybe like Addison Ray, because <laughs> it's like form fitting, so it shows her figure, but she's wearing like an undershirt underneath it because she's like a like a bad bleep. Okay. She's not like she she doesn't say bitch, okay. so she's like wearing an undershirt. Okay. Because she's like a good girl, but she also wants you to know like she has an ass, okay. so she's wearing like tight fitting clothes. What? That's like really good. <laughs> that's good. I, I like that. And she's got like the Nick Lachey. She has a nice ass. I'm not saying Nicol there's. Anything yeah, actually, wrong. that's pretty poignant because you know poignant. I point you know poignant po poignant whatever. <laughs> because you know the TikTok guys are kind of like the modern boy band sort of. Yes. Because there are no boy bands yes, anymore. Yes, I'm not Besides saying anything. Besides BTS, who we love. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But. Yeah, so I, th I feel like that's a good, but like, good comparison. And, and and she's hot, Addison Rae's hot. It's all a good thing. Nothing wrong with it. I just think it's it's a little touch of innocence that AR still has. Mm -hmm. Boring. What the fuck? Oh my god, Kanye. Why does he look so different? Kanye in 2006. This, this looks like something your weird uncle would wear to Christmas. Yeah. Maybe this is, like, it's hard to understand someone finding their fashion stride because it was... We, we were kind of like born. Fashionistas. Yeah, just like kind of knowing colors and looks and what goes with, uh, what? What, goes with what and what's trending and all that stuff. stuff. But for someone like him who had to find it, it's, yeah. I guess it's kind of hard to understand yes. why he would put on this outfit ever. And also know? in the off chance that Kanye um, sees this, we are kidding. We're kidding and send us Yeezys. And we're just, we're kidding. And send us Yeezys. <laughs> oh, what a dork. My. What a dork! He does look a little nerdy. Um, what an absolute dad. Oh my I, god. This is now, a dad a little, at every work conference. Little fun fact about me. Ryan Seacrest is my all-time favorite celebrity. I love him. He can do everything. And he does do everything. Yeah, I mean, I like him too, but he's adorable. But look at him. He's such a dweeb in this picture. And this was 2010. Ryan, what are you doing? <laughs> His yeah. wife's like, come on, babe. Come on. Put your arm around Minnie. Let's get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Demi Lovato. I want to fuck Demi. Stop. Not I don't honest. like that. And you know that I don't like that. And I don't like that you say it every time she comes on the screen. It's weird. She definitely did not approve that song. <laughs> She met Pluto at Disneyland okay, in California. Okay, in 2009. 
Um. Cute. Why? Why? I, I honestly, I I love the outfit, and I think Demi's is pretty good too. <laughs> That was good. This is me. <laughs> right now. That's the joke he would have made at Disneyland. Aww. Wait, can we dress up as this for Halloween? I'll be Minnie. I'll be Minnie in that outfit and you be okay. Ryan Seacrest. I'm screenshotting it just to save it. <laughs> and will someone remind us of that next Halloween? Oh! Uh, Jimmy Fallon looks tired. Jimmy Fallon looks and Chris kind of Martin looks uh, like pale and sweaty a little bit. Chris, Chris Martin, Martin looks like someone I went to high school with. That... I like he looks like a 15 year old soccer player. This is kind of a fratty picture a little bit. Yeah Yeah, like at a frat Christmas yeah, party. So basically Chris Martin is the new guy He's like the freshman because he looks young. Yeah, like he's a pledge and Jimmy is like the junior. Yeah. who's like I've been partying for two years yeah. straight and like wants to be his big bro. Yeah he's like, This is my bro. This, this is, is my, my brother. Little, this is my I'm, brother. We've actually never spoken before this moment, but this is my brother. That's what bros do. So this was the picture of Beyonce that we saw before, but now it's all of them, which I like to see. Um, and they all look good. I love when they do the same outfit, just three different takes. Mm -hmm. I really do. Mm -hmm. Kind of wish they would have given all three a Santa hat, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't think it's fair that Beyonce is the only one with a Santa hat. Yeah. She's got the red hair though. She got to show that off. That's true. I do love Kelly. I think that's Kelly. Kelly's sweater. 10 out of 10 for That was them. great. That that made me feel merry and bright. It really did. I feel did. super merry and it bright It really now. did. It's nice to take a little time time warp. Yeah. Back to a, a, a better time, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's sing a Christmas carol. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Deck when the halls with boughs of holly. When my gifts come and they're under the tree. When my gifts come and they're under the tree. That's what Christmas is about, is getting gifts. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. I love to open gifts and receive them. And everything I like is under the tree. I am a spoiled child and I love getting gifts. I love getting gifts and I'm a spoiled kid. And getting a new brand new bike. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching this mini tiny little eensy fashion it. review. Back to the vlog, bitches. Okay, you know what time it is. Kevin, Kevin, the time. Number 11. Aww. Oh, it's a skate. It's a little skate. Skating right into our hearts. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, weird. That one's super weird. Yeah, it's really wet, like exotic. Mm. Spicy, guys. Yeah, almost spicy, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Because remember, I take weekends off. So I won't, you won't have a video for a couple days. And then I'll see you on Monday. Love you. Bye. Later.